Shalom, shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. That will honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akim that's pushing his word throughout the four corners of the planet. Shalom to the elect. And just real quick, I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, but just going into how, like, what, uh, you know, these people are feeling the pressure. All right, and I I had recently made a video kind of going into this, and you know sometimes when we bring out these videos, it can seem a little repetitive. But the closer we get to the end, the more repetitive it's going to get, because we don't really have that many uh, 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 prophecies. All right, to, to that many more prophecies to go before our Lord Yahweh Shah returns. Right, so the closer we get. All right, the more repetitive it's going to seem, uh, you know, with with the videos. All right, until ultimately the Lord, you know, cut this thing, cut this thing off, meaning the word. All right, uh, Amos uh, eight and eleven uh, take effect. All right, the famine of the word. But until then, hey, we're 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 gonna we're gonna we're gonna work with what the Lord give us. Hey, and, we're, and, 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 and though it sound repetitive. At the end of the day, all right, this is, uh, this is a uh, part of the uh, the uh, what, what the Lord would call the foolishness of preaching. All right, matter of fact, let me get that. Let me get this. All right. This is First Corinthians one and twenty one. For after that in for after that in the wisdom of Yahweh, the word the world by wisdom knew not Yahweh. It pleased out of one by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So, you know, this is part of the uh the, the you know the the, the what you would call the uh, the the you know the battle, all right that we come out here, all right and we preach things that uh, could be repetitive. But enough about that. So let's get into this, you know how these people are feeling feeling the, uh, that proverbial squeeze, right? And, and you know, hey amen. And, and a lot of people. Are gonna fold up, man. Right? They're gonna fold up. Why? Because they're not gonna be able to stand. You know, they're already folding up. All right. Let's get. Let's see. Is this it? Workers are not earning enough wages to afford the most basic thing: a place to live. According to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, the average individual now has to work more than a hundred hours a week. Just to earn enough income to afford a two-bedroom apartment rental. All right, so I did the math, right? So there's only a hundred and sixty-five. There's only a hundred and sixty-five hours. All right, and a whole week, right? And then you do. Let's say you got you got it's a hundred and sixty-five hours in a whole week. You working a hundred hours, all right? To uh, you working a hundred hours? Let's let's see. Let's do the math. <clears throat> you got uh, twenty four hours times seven, one hundred and sixty eight hours in a week, right? So out of that one hundred and sixty eight hours. All right, you working a hundred hours because they said it take a hundred hours, so you got sixty eight. You got sixty eight hours, right? So out of that, let's say out of that, uh, uh, uh that sixty eight hours. All right, that's clear. You got eight. You got eight hours of sleep. Eight times seven. That's fifteen. So. That's clear. 
So 68 take away 15, 15 hours, right? Did I do that right? Hold on. You got eight hours. You got... You got, you got 168 hours in a week, right? 168 take away 100. That leaves you with 68 hours. So you got eight. You got, you sleep at eight hours a day. So 68. Uh, let me see. All clear. You got... Eight times like times seven. You got eight eight hours that you sleeping. That's get that's just eight hour eight eight hours you sleeping. That's fifty six. That's fifty six hours. So you got all clear. You got sixty eight hours. Take away 56. You got 12 hours to yourself. You have 12 hours to, to and that's for a whole week. So you got two hours a day. Not even. You got, you got, uh, so let's do 12 divided by seven. What, one hour? 1.7 hours right you got hours and some change by yourself right so basically hey man we we we, we are in captivity all right let's go back let me see let's go back right 100 hours a week group looked at average rents across the country and determined that in order to have enough money to afford a two-bedroom apartment and other necessities, the average worker needs to earn over $28 an hour. That's on average. In some states, it's way more. In New York, you need to earn more than 40 bucks an hour. In Florida, it's over 30 bucks an hour. In California, it's more than $42 an hour. The current federal minimum wage is just seven dollars and 25 cents an hour ridiculous there's not a single state in the country that offers a minimum wage that would allow workers to afford a two-bedroom apartment working just 40 hours a week and 50 percent of workers in the country don't earn enough during a 40-hour week to even afford rent for a one-bedroom apartment which requires on average a wage of more than 23 bucks an hour so so, hey man, and I, hey man, this is ridiculous, right? And this is why we we got to get out of here, all right? Because Esau is making it unbearable, all right? The longer we here, all right, the more okay we're going to suffer. And like I always say this in my videos, all right, my lessons. Hey, this is your how about Shmi how Shah way of making it uncomfortable so that we cry out to the heavenly Father, all right? Because if Jake if Jake comfortable Jake. Jake would be in that spirit of not, you know, of not wanting to leave Egypt. All right, so the Lord has to make it uncomfortable, all right, so that we actually cry out to the Heavenly Father. Proverbs 29 and 1. Salakia. Uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. Hey, and that's what we see. All right, we see what people mourning, and, and, and as we get further into this, to this uh, 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 lesson, I right, I got videos just to show you how these people are mourning. Bootlickers for capital like to claim that younger generations can't afford homes because they're spending too much money on avocado toast and shit. But no, it's because the ownership class's declining rate of profit over the last few decades has forced it to more aggressively exploit workers to a point now that wages aren't even enough to put a roof over their employees' heads. This is an untenable situation. And to learn more about what happens next, read Marx. Workers are not earning... All right, so... 
we are in dire times. All right, like the Lord said that we will be. All right, uh, let me get this. Let me get this. Um, so I like it. Um, let me get this. Uh, I'm gonna go to the next video. I'm gonna bring this out afterwards because I, uh, you know. guy right here right he he you know he pretty much he goes into how y'all here you know he basically saying you know basically he he's fucked man right but he's but he said what he's happier than he's been in a long time and right, he's he goes on to on this uh this you know this speech of uh you know you know triumphant triumphant hey and look hey hey, hey and this hey, hey and this is only you know matter of fact i'm gonna let him finish it out For how long? Because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's good that you want to count your blessings. But the thing is, our your hope can't be within these material things. Are right? these things that are just vain, you know, uh, 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 materialistic things that actually means nothing, right? You have to have you have to have a, a spirit. All right, you have to have your 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 spirit have to be built up in, in Yahweh Shai. You have to find the joy within Yahweh Shai to sustain you. All right, because that everything else, like everything he's gonna name, all right, it's just a matter of time before all that's gone as well. And then what? All right, see when well, you got the spirit of Yahweh why Yahweh Shai, all right, they can take all it away from you, but guess what? They can't take the spirit. All right, that's why King David, you know, he prayed to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashin, Yahweh all right, that he not take the Holy Spirit away from him because at the end of the day, hey, it's a, a, a wounded, it says a man, uh, a, firm, a man, uh, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmities, but a wounded spirit who can bear. So, hey, this guy goes on to name all these carnal things, all right, that, that, that he's grateful for. But at the end of the day, when those things are gone, then what? They kept my children and my wife out of the rain this morning. There's no money, 
many, but there's food, not a lot, but there, there's food to get us through. There's no money, but there's electricity. But for how long? There's no money, but I woke up this morning. Right, and, and you know, you could get, you know, they got the little music playing in the background, this, that, and the third, right? Hey, and the only thing that he said that was actually righteous is that what? That the Lord woke him up this morning, right? But all that other shit that he said, what? It, it really means nothing, right? And we are grateful for the thing, you know, having a roof over our head, food to eat, all right? These things are what? Are uh, needed all right, for a man to sustain himself, him and his family, right? But it said what the Lord say: man should not live off of bread alone. Okay, Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah? All right, is the it's it's our it's our uh, our, our strong tower. Haggai one and six: Ye have so much and bring in little; ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, so like ye, ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes. And that's what these people are ultimately doing. These people are earning wages, all right, to put, and guess what? It's just, it's just, it, 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 it really means nothing, right? What's with my... Um, this right here. This is going to be my last video for a while. I um, I've been struggling, and I know I try to be positive, and I try to put on a brave face. Hey, and that's what all these people are doing. All right, hey, when we out there at camp and we prophesying and we. And we, uh, 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 you know, bringing out the word of the Lord. All right, you'll have these people, what, and they're walking past, all right, and they act like they don't have a care in the world. But deep down in the inside, all right, these people are scared to death. Right? These people are one check away from being homeless. Let me get... Let me get this. This is Isaiah 39 and 32 and 9. Rise up, you woman, that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days, it says, in years shall ye be troubled, ye careless woman. For the venture shall fail, the gathering shall not come. It says, tremble ye women, that are at ease. Be It says, be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird, uh, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. And that's what the Lord is doing to these women. All right, this is what he's doing all right, to you people in general. It says, they, it says they, they, they shall lament for the teats. It says, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars, yea, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city, because the the palaces shall, shall be forsaken, the multitude of, of the city shall be left, the fort and the towers shall be for dens, forever a joy of wild asses, and a pasture of flocks. So what? The Lord is bringing you people down. Right, because you you walked in great pride, and now guess what? 
you have to you you go, the Lord is going to what you're going to uh 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 you're going to see all right you're going to you're going to see this judgment that's going to come upon you all right you're going to have a lot of people in the spirit of this 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 uh this lady right here I don't have any friends. I don't have any family. Anyone who I've ever helped in my life has turned their back on me. I have a child who doesn't really care or want anything to do with me. <laughs> so, 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 so you can already see where, you know, she says she has a child that doesn't want to have anything to do with her. All right, so 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 what 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 that so that tell you that what at one point in time what she wasn't probably the best mother, right now now what that judgment is coming down upon her, right and she what she's looking for sympathy, all right she's looking for uh, somebody to feel bad for, her. hey but hey man hey I'm not I, listen I could listen I'm listen I'm listen fuck this this chick man, you know hey hey hey. Hey, may the Heavenly Father do as he will with her, man. You know? I don't feel sorry not one bit for her. Hey, because I'm quite sure she heard about her being an Israelite, you know, or her being, you know, one of the 12 tribes. Hey, she probably was one of those people that scoff, one of those people that, that mock, one of those people that talk shit. Hey, and now look at her. I just feel like my life doesn't matter. I don't feel like anyone values me. I feel alone. I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of crying myself to sleep every night. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm trying so hard, so hard, and I'm just, I'm not getting anywhere. I'm mentally exhausted. I'm heartbroken. I'm in a library crying right now. I just feel so, I just feel so alone. A couple weeks ago, I wrote about like 10 different influencers. All of the influencers that I wrote have content about giving out to the poor. And many of them read the messages and just left it. it was so so basically, what she looking for uh, 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 sympathy. She, she's on she's on TikTok. And she essentially, you know, she's she's begging, man. All right, she's looking for sympathy. She she's writing influences. She's looking for somebody to give her a handout, man. Right? Hey, 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 hey we say what? If the if the Lord can't help you, you know, what what makes you think I can help you? Right? She, hey, man. No, hey, look, man. Nobody feels sorry for you, 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 you woman, man. All right, you, you made your bed, and now you have to uh, sleep in it. Surprised by one specific one who is always saying, God is amazing, God is amazing. And um, <sighs> I've gone to every place in Las Vegas. Every place to try to get help to get off the streets, <laughs> and everything. Everybody tells me there's no funds. There's no funds. There's a waiting list. I just, I just can't. Hey, what well, you say? The love of many shall wax cold, man. Because iniquity should abound. The love, of, the love of many should wax cold, man. Don't nobody care about. You know those tears, man. Hey, everybody looking at like, look, man. They got their own problems. You know. Do it because I can't do this. I just need this. Is going to be 
This is Isaiah 24 and 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. The haughty of the people of the earth do languish. Yeah, these people are grown. When you go into that word languish, it means to grow weak. The, the earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burnt, and few men left. The new wine mourneth, the wine languishes, or the merry hearted do sigh. And that's what you see. Alright? You see what the merry heart that these people merry hearted, alright? Uh, what? And they're sighing and crying. Alright? They said when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Right? And that's what you see. You see these people mourning. <clears throat> they can't afford to pay their rent. Alright? They can't afford to, uh, to, 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 uh, you know, uh, 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 buy food. They say they shall not drink wine with a strong, strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Yeah, they're not, they not in that celebratory spirit anymore. They're in the spirit, what, of drinking to get away from their problems. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Yeah, America is broken down. All right? People ain't throwing up, throwing no parties, inviting nobody over. Why? Because they can't afford to. There's a crime for wine in the in the in, in the streets. All all it says all joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Right? Th this place is finished. The mirth of the land is gone. Let me, matter of fact, let me go back because I want to go here. Right? And I want to read some of the comments. It says, after they add fees and water, I pay $1,900 for a two-bedroom. I'm scared monthly that I can't pay. Tired and stressed. My rent just, it says, my rent, just the rent is $1,650. Two bedrooms and two baths. It says bought my house and my mortgage is six oh five a month for a three bedroom two bath. Before buying, I was nine hundred and twenty five dollars for a two bedroom and a half a bath. It says townhome. It says and that was in twenty twenty. It says mine is thirteen and I'm behind almost two months behind. Not had it a whole year yet. Damn. It's 2700 and higher in the Washington, D.C. area. They are pushing us to live in my vehicle. I paid 725 for one bedroom, electric, and everything included. Where at? Somebody said, where at? It said, exactly. It says, when I was renting a two-bedroom mobile, it was five ninety five. Now it at least fifteen hundred for one bedroom. Anything where I am landlord. It says I am a, I am landlord sold from under me. So grateful I got my house and paid it off when I did, but still had to save a thousand a month for taxes and insurance. See, so even when you even when you. Hey man, it, it, see, it, hey man, this place got to go. I'm at five, five, $15.45 an hour. $2,400. Truth. Same, my mortgage is $1,800. I have not had enough money for groceries for over a month. Eating my way through my pantry and using credit. Studio apartment in Colorado are 2200 It literally always something. My husband got his yearly bonus last month. And guess what? He needed an emergency appendix. Appendix. What? Appendix. Appendectomy. And was hospital five days. Studio apartment are 1800 here. Shit. So, hey, man, you see these people 
or <clears throat> feeling the squeeze. <clears throat> Let's get this. Um, uh, right here. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I felt compelled to say it. Things out here are getting expensive. I see that. Grapes, seven dollars. Eggs, five dollars. Homes, half a million dollars. Cars, forty grand. Used. It could be a Mazda. They don't care, right? But one thing I do want to say is, I don't give a damn how expensive it gets. I'm not working a second job. Mm -mm. Y'all not about to have me out here working twice, okay? I'm good until about five thirty. Five thirty-one. Legs start buckling. Knees going. Six o'clock. Vision blurry. Can't find my car. Okay. I, I I can't I can't work I can't work two jobs. So whoever needs to fix it, please fix it, because it's to the point now where. Working 40 hours a week ain't enough, but I'm gonna make it enough. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I feel so. Hey, man, you see, hey, and Jake, Jake burnt out, man. All right, hey, we've been we've been doing this, all right, since we've been in this country, scratching and surviving, uh, uh, uh surviving and scratching. All right, see, see, these Edomites, it, this this is new to them. All right, we've been in these conditions since we've been here, man, and Jake is burnt out. All right, and it's ultimately why because Jake, really the Lord is, he's making it uncomfortable here. But Jake, what is, in the spirit, what of uh uh uh, uh coming back into that that rulership, uh 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 uh, uh, uh you know uh you know uh rulership mentality, right? Right, Jake, like man, look, fuck that, man. I'm not working. Look, I'm not doing it. You know, I'll sleep in my car. I'll do this. I'll, you know, I'll find a way to make it happen. I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going, like, Jake, Jake, Jake is, you know, over it, man. Jake pretty much over this place, man. Jake ready to, rather Jake, rather Jake respond to, you know, or subscribe to what we teach or not in the spirit. Jake is just ready to see this place, you know, ready to see this place go. <coughs> right? Jake ready to Jake 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 is 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 over this place, man. So like you. So we see so we see what's going so you know what was happening is the these elite are grooming these people for the new world, right? He he the the, the, the these devils are grooming gro are grooming these people to 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 uh, accept this chip when it come out. Let's go. What's my next one? Is this? So this video is for. No, that ain't it. I think that was it. Through the spirit. <clears throat> um, let me see. See, that's what I'm saying. Jake, Jake over it, man. Jake, Jake then, then fell for the banana in the tailpipe. All right, the 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 the, the bullshit, the okie doke. So so many times, Jake, like, look, man, fuck it, we we good with this shit, man. Let this shit go. Trevor Noah said it so beautifully last night. There's a social contract that we all have. That if you steal or if I steal, then the person who is the authority comes in and they fix the situation. But the person who fixes the situation is killing us. Exactly. So the social contract is broken. And if the social contract is broken, why the fuck do I give a shit about burning the fucking football hall of fame? About burning a fucking target? You broke the contract when you killed us in the streets and didn't give a fuck. You broke the contract when for 400 years we played your game and built your wealth. See, see, so Jake, 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 Jake over this fucking place, man. Okay, we we, we ready. Hey, this, the Lord putting this, like I said, whether you subscribe to what we're preaching or not, 
All right. The, the Lord is still pouring out his spirit to where Jake don't want to do this no more. All right. Jake don't want to do this no more. Jake is J Jake might not even know what's coming afterwards, but they know one thing and they understand one thing that what they don't want to do this anymore, any longer. You broke the contract when we built our wealth again. On our hey, and that's the spirit. I didn't even notice. But look at the top. All right. You got a Jake woman. All right. With a uh, with a with a crown on her head. Right. That's the spirit. By our bootstraps in Tulsa, and you dropped bombs on us when we built it in Rosewood, and you came in and you slaughtered us. You broke the contract, so fuck your target, fuck your Hall of Fame. As far as I'm concerned, it could burn this bitch to the ground. See? And it still wouldn't be enough. And they are lucky that what black people are I, looking for I, is equality. I'm doing a lesson, Stink. Okay, G give me a minute. Now go upstairs until I'm finished. Go ahead, I'll be up there in a minute. Why you got jiggle shoes on the couch? Je Stink, I'm 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 busy right now. Salakia. Let me run that back. Hall of Fame. Bit. As far as I'm concerned, it could burn this bitch to the ground. And it still wouldn't be enough. And they are lucky that what black people are looking for is equality and not revenge. All right, hey, and, 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 you know, and I'm going to say, you know, at the end of the day, she's wrong with that. You know, like I said, Jake don't subscribe to what we, because we want, we want revenge. We want, we want recompense, right? Us that's in the truth. All right, we want rulership. We want, uh, we want, uh, uh, uh. We want to rule over our oppressors, right? So, hey, that, that's a hey, hey, so when Jake say they want equality, hey, that's not what we that's not what we want. We don't subscribe to that. We want we want we want to dominate. Okay, we want to be on top and them on the bottom, right? But nevertheless, all right, that's a different uh different uh. You know, that's a, a, a different uh, lesson for a different time, right? But at the end of the day, you know, the, these people are feeling the squeeze, you know, and Jake is over it, and these people are seeing what th this, this you know, this squeeze that everybody's feeling. Like I said, we've been feeling it, all right? We've been experiencing it, all right? It's just now that what Esau is, is he's about to attempt to enslave the whole world. But Jake, man, we've been living this life. This ain't nothing new to us, right? Hey, how Jay Z say, man? Hey, we've been here before. You know what I mean? Um, let me see. But see, Jake realizing what? Like she said, we played the game, all right, and it got us nowhere. So hey, fuck this place, and we and we 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 share the same sediment, all right. We want to see this place burn down to the ground, all right. Not just a Walmart, or a supermarket, or a sneaker store. All right, we want to see all of America turned into a lake of fire. I don't want Rochester's eyes sooner than later. All right. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and their grinding cease because they are few. And those, this is the point right here. And those that look out of the window be darkened. Yeah, hey, because look, I went to Home Depot today. Yo, and all, all they registers now are what you call a uh, self-checkout. All right. Hey, hey, and I remember about 10 years ago, I went to Home Depot and they just had like, like two checkout lines, you self checkout. And I was telling my wife, look, I said, you know, cause people was like, you know, they was telling us to go to the self checkout cause they, you know, they was, you know, motherfuckers don't like the work. So they was telling us to go to the self checkout. But I was saying, I was telling my wife and I was telling her like, little do they know that this right here is going to be the end of their job. What, and lo and behold, what, 10 years later, 
I go on Home Depot, and, and it's and, and and literally the whole the whole Home Depot where all the registers was at, they all sell checkouts. And what they got and what they got right there, they got two armed guards. They got two armed guards, all right, that's sitting there, all right, monitoring, you know, the people that, that do the self checkout and somebody that's uh like a cashier that's there just to uh you know, if the machine malfunction they can reset it or something like that. But what? That that's going into what? The jobs being few. All right, it says it said in the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinding cease because they are few. It says, and those that look out of the window be darkened, meaning what? Looking out the window is, uh, 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 you know, going into looking towards the future. All right, be being darkened, meaning what? That the people don't see a future here anymore. All right, and, and the more you, and you see that in all the videos I played. All right, the, the the American dream has become a nightmare. The 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 American dream is no longer. It's it's dead, man. All right. It says, and the doors shall be shut in the streets, when the sound of grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. It says, kind yeah. So a hey, and that's a hey, and that's what we're seeing. All right, people that once had jobs don't have no jobs, unemployment. All right, but things are going to get a lot worse. All right, once this MOTB take place, once they really get this new world order, all right, uh, 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 established, all right, you're going to see what that that transhumanism come into play. All right, robots on the streets. All right, that it's going we're going to be living in that that our robot uh, that our robot world, man. All right, so with that, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to say Shalom. Hey, man, hey. Hey, these people feeling it, man. Hey, hey. And we, hey, through the spirit of power, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah, hey, we told them it was coming. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.